hi and welcome to today's video i will be sharing some tips and some quick shortcuts you can use when working inside of twin motion 2019 and the first one i'm going to share is with the transform keys or the transform gizmo depending on what you call it like uh normally you know for you to be able to move this you have to come here click and you know select one of them or you can go and press the numbers on your keyboard like four five and six which is great but then there is a shortcut key to toggle through these ones and it is the tab key so once i press the tab key i can toggle through through the transform tools yeah and the next one i'm going to show you is uh dealing with the materials and i'm going to show you that real quick okay so if i pick this and i select this board here First of all, I may want to change it to a different color. And if I'm going to use this, whatever I'm going to show you wouldn't work. So it's best I go up all the way here and pick something like a brick and drop the brick right on top of here. I'm going to scale this a little bit so that we can see the effect of what I'm trying to explain. So if we go down and click on more, you see here we have speed x and y we don't really know what this is used for because we most probably haven't used it before i'm going to show you how that works of course we know what rotation is it means you need to rotate um the texture that has been applied but if we move this say move x and move it upwards nothing is happening hold on and if you move the speed up a little bit you see the texture begins to animate towards the direction of x cool isn't it so I just really want to share that quick with you. One other thing I want to share, still speaking about motion, is when you press the W key on your keyboard, you simply move forward, which everyone knows. But how do we uh, reduce the speed of motion? When you hold down Alt and press the W key, in most cases, let's see, It tends to move the camera a bit slower compared to when you move the camera um, yes in most cases it tends to move the camera slower so I'm just going to go all the way back and rotate this a little bit hold down alt press down alt on your keyboard you can use your arrow keys to move and slowly it's going to fly through your project the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is snapping this is one thing uh, most people haven't gotten a hang of. You see, if I rotate this, it's snapping to the default, which is 5. I can only snap to 5. Now watch this. You see, it goes from 45, to 40, 35, and, and all that. But what if you want to snap to a certain angle and you don't want to keep doing this? You just want to rotate this to a certain angle and get your, uh, and get your object snapping perfectly fine maybe when you want to rotate your object it's quite simple all you have to do is go over to edit down to preference and here where we see the angle snap you can change this to say 45 now every single rotation we do from now henceforth is going to snap to 45 degrees yeah the same goes for here as well so it snaps to 45 degrees what else what else what else what else uh yeah custom part uh i got a comment from i got a lot of people asking me that uh privately and i'm going to show you how that works so when i uh go here and click on custom part i'm going to show you two things that happens here most probably you've you've never seen them before or you've seen them but either ways so I'm clicking on the pen tool and I'm going to click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and let's lock it up with 10. Okay, now you see automatically because I have a box here, the box begins to move. We all know that because uh, Twin Motion is real time, we can update our path anytime we choose and the object that is following that path will automatically move on with it. Now what is the difference between this and the other ones which we can actually uh, work with i'm going to show you just a tiny difference one of the differences is if i come over here to our outliner or inspector as i call it you see if we pick this and drag it all the way up our box is still down 
why why i mean why does this happen this happens simply because physics is turned on so if i go ahead and turn physics off our box begins to float up and what happens if we update the part as well once our box gets to that part let's go to a closer part something like this okay let's take this all the way up okay now once our box goes to that part it automatically updates and follows the path all through because follow is turned on so what happens if we turn follow off once we turn follow off what happens is our box still follows the object but it doesn't bank when it gets to the point where it needs to you know uh, follow the steep or go high or go low it's just like a flat object traveling through the the path so this is the effect that we're going to see if I turn this off if I turn this on you see it's following the path you see it's having so much fun just going up and down if I let's wait for it and I tap this and say turn off you see you can see with that what's going on okay so one more quick tip I want to share is most times if you're working inside of twin motion i'm just going to explain this and you click on create image and you create your first image maybe you've seen this in previous videos but i just have to say just in case you haven't seen it and you see i have just saved the time of day here if you come here and you decide to move the time of day to say sometime like this and you switch and come to this part automatically something goes wrong what happens is because you've captured that image twin motion has saved the time of day respectively to that image yeah so the only time you can change the time of day for this image is by clicking time and changing the time by yourself here okay that's the only time you can do that now any other thing you want to tweak that has to do with the way the the image is going to look at the end of the day you have to do them here let's say you want to play with the depth of field for this particular image you have to do it here you don't have to come all you don't have to go back here and and start trying to fix those things they wouldn't work they wouldn't work so you have to come here you have to click on more come to depth of field turn depth of field on first of all and then begin to play with the radius just to get uh, your depth of field working the same thing goes for the lighting as well if you want to uh, increase let's say the ambient occlusion you can do that all by yourself here and the same thing goes for the GI the white balance the shadows and so on and so forth so quickly before I forget there was a, a comment on one of the videos where someone was asking about sound I'm going to briefly explain to you how sound works inside of twin motion if we go over to volumes and I click on sound I go towards people or maybe city uh, let's pick one let's say a busy expressway okay now what happens is your sound has sizes you can choose to increase the size so the bigger the size the more influence the sound is going to have within the image that I mean within within the scene yeah so if your sound goes all the way up if you scroll all the way away from the radius of the sound you are not going to be able to hear the sound so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter if it's uh, if you if you have your volume cranked all the way to 100 or if you change the shape to box or no it doesn't really matter what matters is what is the radius or what is the size of your audio of the sound you're putting in and let me go ahead and explain one more feature one more thing that you should probably know by now to explain this using a new scene so let's go to file new and say no we don't want to save this and we'll go over to I guess it's here context menu we'll go to context wait for it and what we're going to do is to just find a nice location somewhere about here and let's select this grab what we want okay let's grab what we want and say grab okay so twin motion is just going to download what 
it fills it's a house within those places and most of the things that it considers as buildings are these white patches while the black ones are considered as roads so let's wait for Twinmotion to download this all right then and Twinmotion has downloaded what we're looking for which is the context menu that we grabbed next we're going to do let's zoom all the way out okay uh the tip i want to share here is already yeah already we know we can select this and move it around if you don't know you just found out here okay now we can move it around we can increase the height or we can reduce the height so it doesn't matter how big or how small um the context you downloaded is you can always increase and reduce the height you know just to fit into what you want to create you can uh, do that all all day you can do that anytime inside of twin motion of course and speaking about reducing and increasing uh, sizes and tearing things apart one other thing or oh, some other stuff you can still tear apart is the contents yeah so I'm going to go over to the living room hmm let me go select the sofa and let's drag this sofa all the way out it's gonna be a small one if I press F to focus on it you know already what I would do next is I would come true and this sofa is a group so for example you want more of these pillows around you can come through and just select them hold down control and select so you can select multiple copies press tab to toggle through and then you can hold down shift and make a copy okay you can hold down shift to make a copy or an instance like we've just done and I think we're still snapping to 45 so I will go over here and go to preference come down and say we don't want to snap to 45 no more we just want zero okay and say okay so what if you don't want all of these to be in the same place you can simply come here because you see they're all in a group and you can just select them and take them out of the group and now when you select the sofa you can move the sofa wherever you want what a great way of destroying stuff okay this is cool what more what more what more one other thing I think you should know is here in the preference tab you can always change what unit system you are using mm -hmm and also before you export i would advise that you turn this on just in case you have reflections or you have the reflection probe in your scene and you know you have that nice looking stuff or maybe you made an update to it put this on so that whatever update you have on your viewport so that you can see those updates in your final render and speaking of reflection the differences you get is this you may choose maybe because of performance issue to turn this down sorry to turn this down in your viewport but leave it high when you're about to export when you're about to export leave it high and also if you're using a 24 hour clock or if you like working with a 12 hour clock this is where you can switch things up okay quality you know about this you know about all of this stuff and that's it okay so before I end the video there are a couple of keys I just remembered I didn't tell you guys about and I'm going to tell you guys about them if you press H on your keyboard for example let's say you want to hide something you don't like it you just don't want to see it on your scene just press H and it's hidden huh and if you press H one more time it brings it out you see and also remember in the previous videos I explained how you can use this to toggle around your orthographic view you can just simply press O on your keyboard and toggle around those views okay instead of coming here all the time you can just simply press T on your keyboard and you know pick a material and do whatever you want to do with the material 
and for those guys that like trying to see what is going on in the whole scene and you don't want to see all of these things around what you can do is you can come here go over to the eye and select this uh, first person uh, character in the same way you use your shift and your middle mouse button to rotate that's the same way you'll be able to rotate around your scene so I think these are quite helpful tips for you guys that are getting into twin motion or maybe you've been using twin motion for a while I hope you found this tutorial helpful and maybe figured out uh, Tino 2 or learned the Tino 2 from the tutorial so that's it guys if you have comments about this video if you have questions about what I've just explained please drop them in the comment section below and like always like share tell someone and subscribe if you haven't done that peace